Hey guys, I am Vashit uh, and I am pursuing my B.Tech at uh, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today I am going to uh, discuss with you about a capacitor analogy. So what is uh, a capacitor analogy? See, as the definition suggests, uh, the capacitor analogy is a helpful tool for understanding the behavior of capacitors in electrical circuits. Uh, it compares the behavior of capacitors to uh, behavior of other physical systems. Uh, by using this uh, uh, analogy, complex electrical concepts can be explained in a more initiative way. See, uh, before going to the topic, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick recap about uh, capacitors. See. Capacitors is nothing but uh, an electrical element which stores <clears throat> electrical uh, which stores energy in the form of electrical field. See, uh, actually, capacitors uh, are uh, you know are uh, two plates connected to a you know to uh, to a circuit where uh, where for increasing the capacitance. Uh, Dielectric is placed uh, in the bit in between of two plates of capacitors. See, the idea of uh, the idea of capacitor is simple to store energy, right? So, uh, the capacitor analogy gives a quick breakdown about how capacitors are used in, uh, you know, uh, in uh, circuit elements, etc. See, uh, let us dive deep into this topic. Okay. See. A capacitor uh, is a passive two-terminal uh, electronic component that uh, stores uh, electrical energy in an electric field. See, that's what I told you. Uh, and uh, it consists of two conductive plates uh, separated by a dielectric. Uh, the capacitance of capacitor determines its ability to store data. See, that's the. Uh, this is the. Uh, quick definition of capacitor you can pause the video and you can uh, read it by yourself but uh, the understanding is very simple it basically stores data uh, you know in an electric field see this is the simple idea of capacitor right now the symbol of a uh, uh, capacitor uh, a normal electric circuit will be like this as shown in the figure and uh, in an electrolyte uh, it is uh, somewhat like uh, uh, somewhat, you know, the two plates with a plus sign above it, right? Now, what a technology. See, uh, before understanding a capacitor, we can actually break down the capacitor into, uh, you know, uh, break down a capacitor uh, like a water tank. Yeah, water tank. See. Uh, whenever you know well about water tanks, right? See, what is the main capacity? I mean, what is the main task of water tanks to store the water in tanks? So that's uh, can be compared with uh, a simple capacitor. See, in water tank analogy, a capacitor is uh, represented by a tank filled with water. That's what the water level uh, in tank represents the charge stored in capacitor. Uh, capacitor the height of tank represents the voltage across the capacitor see this is the simple uh, comparison i gave you regarding a, a comparison between a water tank and electrical see uh, uh, often many uh, you know in our physics lectures also many lectures uh, refer electrical components and electrical uh, concepts as uh, you know like uh, you know uh, fluid mechanics and fluid dynamics concepts see they are more related to each other uh, when we come come in uh, fluid mechanics it says that uh, resistances of fluids uh, storing of a <clears throat> storing of a fluid and uh, speed of the fluid depending upon the uh, size of I mean narrowness of the tube etc so it can be well compared with uh, <clears throat> it can be well compared with you know the electrical components as well water flow analogy so i'm going to compare with uh, a water flow and also uh, and also capacitor uh, electrical flow in capacitor 
see the flow of water into into or out of tank represents the flow of electric current into or out of capacitor the rate of water flow is analogous to rate of charge flow in an electric circuit the flow of water is controlled by the size of opening and um, the pressure uh, opening resistance and the pressure voltage see this is the uh, basic idea of uh, water flow analogy and now i'm gonna discuss about charging of a capacitor see this can also be compared with uh, you know a water flow as well when a capacitor is uh, connected to a voltage source it charges similar to filling a water tank electrons flow into onto one plate while equal number of electrons flow off the other plate the <clears throat> the charging process continues until the voltage across the uh, across the capacitor reaches the source voltage see uh, you know the water tank right uh, let us fill it with the uh, water as well uh, as soon as the water uh, fills the charges uh, starts flowing so uh, it has reached its maximum capacity range so that's what a uh, charging of a capacitor is also explaining in this uh, presentation discharging a capacitor when a, a charged capacitor is uh, disconnected from a voltage source it discharges similar to emptying a water tank electrons flow from one plate to other plate reducing the stored uh, charge and voltage the discharging process continues until the voltage across the capacitor reaches zero see uh, basically uh, let us assume a water tank uh, who, which is connected with a tap okay uh, when when we you know when we swirl the tap uh, the water starts filling uh, into the tank such that uh, we can get adequate amount of it what we are going to do we have we are going to remove the uh, uh, pipe connected to the tap and tank uh, what happens the water starts filling i mean spilling right so this is a uh, uh, similar when you disconnect a voltage or uh, disconnect a battery from a capacitor same thing happens uh, you know electrons uh, electrons flow from uh, flow away from uh, capacitor that's what in simple words actually they don't flow but i'm gonna saying you for simple understanding okay okay capacitor store uh, in an electrical field similar to how a compressed spring stores its potential energy the amount of energy stored in a capacitor depends on its capacitance and voltage across it the energy stored in capacitor can be calculated using energy formula see uh, actually capacitor stores its energy in the form of a, a electric field uh, it is somewhat similar like let's just say I have a spring okay I'm gonna load it and I'm gonna release it what happens it stores its potential energy and as soon as I release it it will release its energy okay that's what that's what the simple idea behind uh, capacitor energy storage which is somewhat similar to a spring okay now let us uh, break down the formula okay so this is basically uh, basically capacitor plates connected to a battery okay see the positive plate i mean you know the plates are connected to a battery and the exchange of flow uh, flow of electrons takes place see uh, here you have positive po positive plate which is connected to positive end of the battery and here you have negative plate which is connected to negative end of the battery see here are some positive charges and here are some negative charges which are get attracted by each other now they tend to go here and they tend to go here now this creates a, a simple flow of charges as you might get see this is the formula which i'm gonna break down see p is equal to iv right what is power formula voltage uh, product of voltage into current right see P is equal to C dV by dt dV by dt into V. C. C. Current can be you know current can be classified as a, 
c into dv by dt right c p is equal to u by t p, u is equal to pt so yeah here you know u is the energy like energy stored okay u is equal to yeah you uh, you know let us differentiate you okay uh, here you have a uh, uh, u integrated uh, t f times and t zero times to du and uh, p dt now uh, what is p c v c d v d t into v right so c c integration of v f uh, and uh, v but v f and v are the same so we're gonna get uh, you know uh, so by integrating this we get uh, v square by 2 into c and the final product will be u is equal to half uh, c v square okay capacitors in dc circuits in dc circuits capacitors act as a open circuit for steady state conditions uh, once charged a uh, capacitor uh, blocks the flow of uh, dc uh, dc current however the capacitor allow the flow of ac current by charging the discharging at uh, a frequency of ac signal Hmm. Okay, uh, in AC circuits, capacitors are commonly used for filtering and filtering, coupling and uh, phase shifting. Uh, capacitors uh, block DC signals while AC uh, while allowing AC signals to pass through. The reactance of capacitors in is inversely proportional to frequency of the signal, and you can see this. Uh, the voltage across the capacitor uh, lags behind the current by 90 degrees. The impedance effect of a uh, uh, capacitance of a capacitor on current in a AC circuit is called capacitor reactance. X is equal to 1 by omega A to C. Uh, delta V max is equal to I max into XC. Uh, Qt is equal to C delta V minimum uh, sin omega T IC equal to TQ by DT omega C delta V max cos omega T uh, now the final output we, I mean the final answer we are gonna get is I max equal to delta V max uh, delta V max by I by omega C so yeah this is the quick uh, 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 this is the quick exp I mean, you know, this is the explanation for capacitor in AC circuits. And we are going to discuss about a capacitor as a transistor uh, element. A capacitor can act as a transistor uh, element in circuits, storing and releasing energy during uh, transient uh, uh, events. They can smooth. Uh, they can smooth voltage fluctuate fluctuations and provide energy during sudden power demand uh, capacitors are often used in a power supply circuit to stabilize and to stabilize voltage and reduce ripple okay hence hence by applying hence by applying kirchhoff law hence by applying kirchhoff law in circuit we get uh, v is equal to rit plus vet uh, this is one how now if we transfer if transfer of charge during this period uh, is q coulomb then uh, it can be written as uh, dq t by dt uh, therefore uh, it is equal to dq t uh, is equal to dq t is equal to it dt uh, integration of uh, dqt is equal to it dt uh, integration of it dt is equal to q again q is equal to cv plus uh, integration of it dt and finally we get c dve t dt putting this expression in uh, it in equation we get v is equal to rc into dve plus by dt plus v plus 
इज इक्वल टू आर सी डी वी ई प्लस डी डी इज इक्वल टू वी माइनस वी ई प्लस डी डी इज इक्वल टू डी डी बाई आर सी इज इक्वल टू आर सी आर सी इज इक्वल टू डी वी प्लस बाई वी माइनस वी प्लस Now integrating uh, both sides with uh, <coughs> respect to time, we get a uh, t by R C is equal to minus log uh, v minus v t plus k, where k can be determined from initial condition. Let us consider the time t is equal to zero at instant of switching on circuit, putting t is equal to zero in above equation. Uh, minus log v minus v uh, plus k is equal to zero. Uh, k plus uh, log v as v is equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no voltage developed across capacitor at t is equal to zero. As t was uh, previously unchanged, uh, t by R C is equal to minus log uh, capital V minus v uh, v t plus log v is equal to minus t. By R C log uh, V minus V C by T uh, minus log V at the end of the day. Now, if we put uh, R C is equal to T at the above equation, we get V C is equal to zero point six three two voltage. That. The time constant of a capacitor is a measure of how uh, quickly charges of the uh, charges or discharges it is de determined by product of uh, resistance and uh, capacitance in circuit. Larger time constant means slower charging or discharging process. The voltage across uh, a capacitor is directly proportional to integral of uh, current flowing through it. The current through a capacitor is directly proportional to directives of uh, voltage across it. The relationship is described by equation I equal to C. C is equal to Q by V. I is equal to d Q by d T. C is equal to Q by V. I is equal to C d V by d T. And here's a slope which is drawn between I d I and d V by d T slope. Uh, is equal to I dt by uh, I into dt by dv. In a circuit analysis, capacitors can be represented by an equivalent model. This model consists of series combination of a resistor and a capacitor. The uh, resistor uh, represents the leakage current uh, and the dielectric losses of a uh, uh, capacitor. There are uh, various types of uh, capacitor available including uh, ceramic, electrolytic, tantalium and film um, capacitors. Each type has its own characteristics such as uh, capacitance uh, range, voltage, rating and uh, uh, temperature uh, stability the choice of capacitor depend depends on uh, specific applications requirement practical uh, applications of capacitor capacitors are uh, used in a wide range of uh, electronic uh, devices including power supplies amplifiers filters and time current uh, circuits uh, they are uh, Essential components uh, in audio systems, uh, motor control, and uh, energy storage system capacitors are also used in electronic uh, equipment for uh, noise suppression and uh, voltage regulation. Capacitors have uh, certain limitations such as uh, limited energy storage capacity and uh, voltage rating. They are also they can also exhibit uh, a non-ideal behavior such as uh, dielectric absorption. And uh, parasitic effects. Uh, careful consideration of uh, capacitors specifications and uh, application requirements is necessary for optimal performance. Uh, uh, 
uh, the capacitor analogy provides a useful framework for understanding the behavior of capacitors in electrical circuits by relating the uh, capacitors to uh, physical systems like uh, water tanks their operations become more initiative uh, a capacitor play a crucial role in uh, various electronics uh, electronic uh, applications and uh, understanding their behavior uh, is essential for security and designing security and designing so yeah thank you guys i am um, was signing off